What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, we're going to be covering a viewer request. Today, I'll be showing you how to get the new Steam Awards Nominations Committee 2020 badge. What exactly is it? Well, currently the Steam Autumn Sale is going from November 25th to December 1st, and on top of this, the Steam Awards voting is also in progress. Simply heading across to the store page and clicking this banner over here to nominate takes you to this page over here. 25th to December 1st at 10 a.m. PST, we have to vote and get this badge. After that, you'll never be able to get this 2020 badge. If you don't see the link to this, simply check the description down below for a link to this page. All you have to do is simply select it in your browser, then drag and drop the actual link across into Steam as such, and you'll be taken across to this correct page. Scrolling down to the very bottom, we'll see info on the badge. Complete these tasks. Nominate at least one game, nominate a game in each category, play a game you've nominated, and review or update your review for a game you've nominated. Now before we get to doing this, this task over here, if you don't have a game that you have nominated installed, we're going to be covering something that you can do to do this. So let's begin with all of these challenges here. I'll simply scroll up to the very top, and we have all of these over here. So what we have to do is nominate at least one game and a game in each category. These are all of the categories we have to nominate a game in. While I could guide you through what to vote for, this is entirely up to you and try and keep it as honest as possible instead of randomly clicking around as your vote does matter. Alright, so I recorded the rest of that video. It seemed to have crashed out while I was doing that and I unfortunately finished all of the challenges. But as you can see, I filled in everything here and after filling in all of my votes here, you'll see that you have both of these checks here. Nominate at least one game and a game in each category. Then we have these two challenges on the right hand side that we'll get to now. Review or update your review for a game you've nominated. Simply head across to your library, select the game you've nominated, then click store page. When you're on the store page, simply scroll down and you'll see a window where you can enter a review. Of course, if you've already nominated a game, which I did when I was originally recording this video, you can click view your review, click the edit review button and simply add or remove a character, save changes and you're basically done. Heading back a couple of pages, we get back to here. Then after reviewing a game, the next one that I did was play a game you've nominated. It's probably the simplest one, but I left it for last as I'm going to show you what you can do if you don't have the game currently installed by using an achievement manager to fake launching up the game and appear as if you've just launched it on Steam. Simply locate a game you've nominated, then head across to your library, launch it up and then close out of it. It's that simple. Of course, if you nominated one that you don't actually have installed, you can edit your nominations, choose a game you have installed, open it up, close it, and then change your nomination again if it matters to you. And if you're really in a tight spot where you don't have any of these games you nominated installed, you can of course head across to the next link in the description down below for Steam Achievement Manager. Yes, this can give you achievements and it's a cheaty way of doing it, but what it does is it pretends to open up basically any game on Steam that you own. So I'll simply click this button over here under releases and then click the zip. It'll then download a zip, which I'll extract into a folder on say my desktop. As such, opening up the folder, I'll simply double click on Sam Picker and a new window will open up. Then we'll just wait for it to populate with all of our games. We'll click anywhere on this list and then type in the game's name that we want to go to. I'll be launching up Ghost Runner. So Ghost Run, and as you can see, it's already got it selected. Simply double clicking on it, it brings up a new window where we can give ourselves achievements, but that's not what we're here for. Checking our Steam friends list, you can see I'm now in game in Ghost Runner. After doing this, you can simply close out of the achievements window and Steam Achievement Manager, you'll stop playing the game and you've now got your achievement for launching up a game you nominated. Hitting F5, you'll see that you have all of these tasks completed and you have the level four badge added to your account, which gives you 25 XP per level. So it gives you a free 100 XP badge. Clicking the actual badge image itself takes us to this page over here where we can view our progress once again, feature this badge, etc, etc. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful enough. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.